Hello, hello. Hello. What's up? Big chilling. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so you just win every game, stop every game, so you have no footage. Uh, well, I either stomp or I either get hardly stomped. I mean, that's so kind of it's not much to learn from my past five to ten games. That's how league is so, right now, honestly. Is I, it is. Like it just snowballs one direction or the other. I guess. Yeah, we don't know how to build yet, or mm -hmm. yeah, we either haven't found the right way to optimize builds, or it's just it goes one way or another, and people, I guess, are trying to abuse what they think it's broken or stuff like that. So it just goes one way or the other. Meta is in a weird spot, honestly. Well, true, true. And I don't know, it just feels like AD is such an, in a weird spot as well. Like, I feel like if you don't go with yeah, yeah, yeah. mentality, you are just missing out, I feel like. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. It just feels sad that like the crit style doesn't really exist anymore. Yep. But yeah, it is what it is, I guess. It's gonna change. So, probably. I mean, I hope so, because yeah, I'm not really a big fan of lethality and this type of playstyle. Yep. You want me to share the screen for you? Uh, yeah, or... share the screen, please. Okay. So, okay, then we'll just play two games. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just do this. So, yeah, I mean, this is the... Um, 22 kills in the game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, it's just blood, so... I picked like a D4, like 50 something LP. Okay. But on these placements, I've been really, really unlucky. Mm -hmm. And I have been assigned like plot four, I believe. And four out of five games in placements were FF15 due to an AFK. <laughs> ah, like, so yeah, I'm so yeah, I, got, I, I, I went, I went zero five in placements. Yeah, so yeah, happens. then was a nine, nine three. This was meh, more or less. So. You see, 16-3, 22-7, 13-2, 9-1, 21-0, Like, it's, I mean, it's not much to see on these games. Yeah, I mean, if you have more diamond, you play in platinum, yeah, you stomp, I guess. Yeah. E exactly. Yeah. And I don't know what happened here. Like, I don't actually... Oh, the Yasuo yeah, incident happened. Okay, ah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess that happened. Yeah, it do be like that. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I mean... Sometimes you just get games which are like this, but yeah. Mental is I mean, important. <laughs> on that, I, I struggle quite a bit. Struggle mental, get and, tilted. <laughs> uh, quite, quite fast, yeah, quite. Oh. So, I yeah, mean... I just wanted to ask for some advice on you about that. Uh, what helped me, for example, last season, during the season, what helped me with not getting tilted, not just performing non-stop. Uh, after every game, I just take a short break. I just do some push-ups in queue, do something else in, in queue or something. Mm -hmm. Just just do something else besides the league and you're gonna feel better. It worked for me. It, maybe it works for you too. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? And for example, if somebody's inting your team. For example, today I had a support. He was playing Bard. He was leaving me alone. He was inting, whatever. And he got caught level 1 as well, and instead of spamping in top of Bart, for example, instead I've pinged that enemy gene didn't have flash, right? And so, uh -huh. because I did it, instead of being tilted myself and tilting my support, no one got tilted, I gave good info to my jungler, gene no flash, and then he ganked us, and we were, right? True. So, True. that's how I see things, getting tilted is never positive. Try to do something else productive instead of getting tilted, there's always something else you could do. And I have a, like, again, a, a lost streak. That's when, like, taking a short, a few minutes break after the uh, game is good. As soon as I get two losses, I just log off and... That's fine. Yeah, I mean, if you can perform I... and you're okay, you can play, sure. But no, if I you can't. just feel like you can, yeah, don't. Just take a break. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's really good. Controlling yourself is good. Don't tilt you ever. It's not productive. Not at all. Feels like... Do you think Clems has any value for Lulu W in here, or should I wait for just last week and decide after, generally? Uh, just decide after. I mean, for Polymorph, it's not that important. I wouldn't pick Clems just for and Polymorph. I wouldn't actually go go Lucian in here, due to the, you know, it doesn't incentivize you dashing forward to a Lulu who's gonna just Polymorph you, and then you can't really burst, do you? Yeah, I mean, do, so you maybe... do you pick what you like, yeah. 
Maybe I'm just gonna do Kaisa here. Go for it. I feel like peaks uh, are just up to you, personal preference, because if you're OTP, it doesn't matter to play any matchup, or if you have a few champs you can play, you just don't want to Lucian because, look, I don't want to dash into them. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's that's that how reasons. I'm trying to think. I'm also, like, before going into the, the actual game, I'm just thinking, like, okay, we are doing a Kaisa Alistar into Ez Lulu. Mm -hmm. Alistar is not really a champ at level 1, so I just think we... Okay, what about, uh, before we go, what about Ghost here? Do you think you need Ghost? For example, what about, I don't know, Exhaust maybe? What do you think? Mm. If you feel like Ghost is good for you, go maybe for, for E. Sure. Maybe for E, But in actually. my mind here, look, uh, if more they get Ghost, okay, because Kai says short range, right? You're going to get into Exhaust range constantly. So, yeah. first of all, Exhaust helps more in lane than Ghost. So here it's going to mm. help you. And then E gets on you, you have Exhaust, you can outplay more they get soon you have exhaust you cannot play right i think it might be better for you here but again it's like more personal preference but there are slightly better options compared to ghost in this game for example right i tend to do ghost sometimes due to the fact that i really like the storm razor kraken build at this very no sorry not storm razor kraken it's just like storm razor preference mm -hmm. and due to like ghost like i can't really get hit by skill shots if that makes sense yeah go really fast with I the... mean, that's fine yeah again i know you're faster. you're a kraken advisor uh, and yeah, yeah but, but it's just it's just play style play style and for example kaisa you know uh, kraken has a bit worse stats a bit less ad and kaisa needs to evolve q so you know yeah 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 that's, good that, for you. that's why i'm doing storm razor so yeah it's advised i, I storm. experimented on both and I just had a bit more success with Kraken. Since yeah, I can, good. on Kraken Terminus, I can do Q and E at the same time. Yeah. By, in the worst case scenario, by 20 minutes. But usually it happens at like 16, 17 minutes. Obviously, depending on how the lane goes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Runes, I'm usually, usually doing the standard, like, Inspiration Secondary, since I just feel like Free Boots is such a big advantage always, that I don't have to spend 300 gold for... For boots yeah that's true. and it's just like early feels much more important now yep so true. not having to spend that 300s just feels much better you know like i can get to my storm razor or you evolve basically faster that makes sense yep do have a point okay let's talk a bit about lane right what do you think about this lane right how do you analyze matchups because well, it's really important to go in a lane in a, in a game with a plan right I'm just thinking like they do win on poke and we only win if we do have like an all-in, like a really good setup. I feel like Alistar is really good at enabling for an Elise gank, but otherwise like short trades we are definitely losing, so... So maybe try to avoid poke from Ezra, right? Stay behind those minions. Yeah, yeah, and pretty much. For example, let's say, I don't know, Alistar engages a Lulu. How do we want to play that? What do we need to be wary of? If... I mean, I don't think like Lulu is ever gonna polymorph him, so she's gonna just wait for me and yeah. So yeah, just be she's careful. Gonna me. Don't get turned on. You're gonna get polymorphed. Is just gonna E on you, right? Just yeah, pretty keep that much. Yeah. So I, instead of Kraken, I'm just going Storm Razor, and mm -hmm. then I'm doing Terminus, and then we'll see. Based on oh, what they have, much. who's fed and so on. Maybe yeah, you need yeah, armor, yeah, maybe you need MR, who knows, we'll see. Although if you go Terminus, you already need armor, MR, you already have it. Okay, do you, what do you do level 1? Where do you stay? Just I mean, turret. usually either here or, I mean, they, they invaded, so yeah. It's... Yeah, it's just make sure you do something level 1, right? Don't just stay under turret, it's super important. Mm -hmm. I don't and think here, yeah, don't ping, ping, ping him to back, you, you know, you can't. Right. Uh, one thing you should also practice, I don't know, are you like assertive in your games? Do you ping a lot in your games? It's super, super important. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. I, I tend to not write anymore, but just like to use pings. That's, you need to use those nonstop. Right. If you know something, remember your allies might not know it. So if you make a mistake, it's probably because, you know, you didn't tell them what you knew with pings. Yeah, fair point. So in here it's a bit late, but usually if it's just before one minute, I just go back, sweeper, get this, 
obviously we get 3% XP so we can level to faster I mean, with one minion advantage, yeah, stuff like that. That's I thing. know it's small, yeah. but... Oh, well, that happened. I'll go back to it. Yeah. Well, we're just going back, I guess. I think you'll uh, say this you shouldn't really go sweeper because you need your reward. Okay, how about... Let's see here. At, what do you want to do with the wave? You know, they're but coming from we tribe, tribe right? we can We can do a level 2, I guess. Just be careful now because they're coming, right? Yeah. Try bush. We are just gonna and back just be careful them. that jungler is also here, okay? Yeah. So we had the war then, it's really good. Okay, you see master is mid. Yeah, master is mid. But yeah, I, right now let's practice being assertive. Ping Ali start to go in, right? Ping on your way on them. So he's ready to go in. Right, and start moving forward too, don't just ping. You need to act, right? There you go. Okay. That's good. We got Lolo Plush. Okay. That's fine. Now, let's not uh, I guess turn we vision. just shove it back. Yeah, let's think about jungler. I mean, he's top. Okay. We can get a wave. I mean, he is for sure top side. Like, we well, saw you don't have earlier. to recall, right? You can't really buy anything. Why not hit turret, maybe? Right? You know it's free damage, I know. Or if you want, you could tie a trap, right? But what about just hitting turret? You still have prior. Me is top. There's no reason to back off when you are so strong, right? True. And now don't hit, try not to hit the wave, so it bounces back to you, right? Yeah, with this I always struggle, like I never know if to greed for like last hits or not. Oh, like for example here, you know, you are going to get level 3 from this too, right? And now you just don't want to hit it too much because then it's too close to their side. So Alistar is useless. You want yeah, to much. enable your Alistar, so you want to let them push a little. Right. And I wish you warded. You wanted to ward, you didn't. Uh, yeah. You can go now. Can I, go, I, I go, go, go now. Go ward. Early. No, it's fine. The ward. Oh, Master to whatever. We have ward. It's fine. Okay. So, for example, now that you let them push, you don't have to stay super far back. You want to be ready to go after Alistar engages, right? Mm -hmm. I see master mid. I just worry about bottling for now. Don't tank the wave. Okay. And now try to play around your Alistar, right? Try to see what he's yep. trying to do. If he walks up, you walk up. No, Remember, Master is doing scatter for now, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna come both. But I think we are safe because the wave is The kind wave of is pushing, pushing towards, out. exactly, right? It's fine. So we are okay with. And now we are in a great, great spot. We can really do anything to you here. Not really. Lulu left? No, she didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't worry. And in these situations, by the way, just if Lulu somehow leaves, right, we instantly engage on Ezra. Just keep that in mind as well. Even with that many minions? Well, if Ezra would be alone, you know. Of course. Okay. Okay, Lulu left, right? She's there, you see that? Now we need to think about Ezra, where could he be? So, for example, if they want to Drake, ping to push this, push this. And okay. you move towards Drake, have to show it instantly. I don't think we actually win this, do we? Well, mid has no prior, so ping them to back off if you know that, right? So just hit first target, hide behind your allies and you win. You have exhaust for this guy if they want to fight. Yep. Now, Yasuo is here too now, this is good. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, hit Ezra then just shove the wave. Ow. What am I doing? No worry, just shove this and go Drake. I mean, yeah, pretty much. It's fine. Wanna go Drake, wanna help, help use your potions. And actually just pinged everybody to back off now. We go back to bot lane and you could ping everyone to back off. I don't this is not a good rank anymore, right? They are respawning, yeah. right? They're respawning. And so just get their wave wave and get just wave. get out. Just get your wave, yeah, exactly. You have vision. If Master is there, he's there, right? Yeah. And this was low, so we can really continue Drake. That's why I wanted to back off. 
I yeah, can sneak it with a W, like a random W. Uh, just in try bush. I think I start to back off. Why is going crazy? And now just focus on your wave. Don't worry about this. Just focus on your wave. Still coming into me. It's coming I'm to you. They they will they... probably recall after getting this, and that's all. Time to get damaged so they cannot dive you, and they'll probably recall. If they don't, it's fine. You wait for Alistar. Yeah, try, trying to get damage is super important, right? So don't, don't want to trade that. It, it's, you don't want to trade like this. Because if you get damage, it's worth it for them. Your HP doesn't matter here. Your HP matters. Okay. Because if you're low, you can't even farm. If Lul is low, she's recalling and whatever. Right? Okay. Master is top. Right now our priority is to just get waves and get out. And if you think you can stay, you recall, it's a 6 million wave. If you really don't think you can stay and you can recall, it's up to you, it's your call, right? I think I can stay but since if you can just get the balance, having... you can, sure. Just try to yeah, I think everyone is topside, so I would rather stay. I mean, I... no, 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 absolutely just focus not. focus on your wave, focus on your wave. It's fine. Okay, and I'll just try to get out so you can't really stay anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This seems like a good idea to just get out. Just whatever. You've got to CS is even, so yeah. But what I'm trying to like teach you is like make a decision, stick to it, right? And mm -hmm. as well, we, we went Drake, right? We, we saw Yasuo as prior, we went Drake, we fought for a while, then um, we took our bot wave, and then Allah is doing Drake while there's Sway and all the enemies coming still, so we just they will back off and we back off, right? We make a decision, stick to it. If it's wrong, it's fine, we learn from it. So, I mean, the thing which I struggled a lot was like this situation in which like Alistar went. I never knew if like to follow or not because... But you know, was... you're low HP, you don't have items, you I can't, mean, right? I kind of knew like it's, it's lost, so it just feels like very bad to not help, but don't. I just know if I help just there, don't. I'm fucked. Yeah, just don't. You know something no. Alistar doesn't, right? So you just don't. Let's shove this, right? We want to shove as soon as possible. So, for example, Ezra loses minions under turret, and now you can go set up vision, right? Just set up a control ward, place a normal ward in the tribush, unless Alistar does it. It's good. I just do it like here, just to see the jungler, sure, maybe. Because right now, if you go bot, like you can't do much, right? Both of them yeah. are there. So now we go back. Right now, we, try, we try to enable like our support, right? I guess we could. Well, that's my bad. No, I should go have been there. For him. Well, maybe, yeah. But just go to your. I think I should side. have been there for him, but I didn't expect Lulu to misstep. You know. Yeah, it's fine. I gave her a bit more credit for like okay, being. Okay, the human. wave is pushing to you, which is really, really good. Try to let this crash, and then after it crashes, don't take aggro and ping Alistar to go forward a bit, right? Mm. Just ping him. Look, 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 look. Oh, so we could have used the exhaust way sooner. Yeah. So, the thing uh, here I wanted you to do, like, this. I wanted you to, you know, like the wave is finally closer to the middle, Alistar can do things. Lulu was still level 5 when Alistar engaged, right? And Lulu was yep. stepping up for no reason. So of course we wanted to engage. And you didn't use exhaust at all. Which was a, I think that's kind of what costed you here, your life. Most probably. I think I misclicked actually. And, and uh, also when you when you get exhausted, right? And Lulu ulted, you can't really ult in anymore. Right? Instead yeah. you try to focus Ezreal after that. I survived the hall, but here is where my okay, so you know Master is bot. At least stop. This draw just recalled, so let's push, right? Why not push? This uh, just recalled, uh, let's make him lose. Not, like, okay. Right? That's our... I felt like he is both sides, so I'm yeah, kind but... of weak side since my jungler is top side. Yeah, but also gotta remember that 
Ezreal just recalled, so he's gonna lose this wave. And there is a high chance that Elise might come bot soon as well. Oh, and he there's stopped, a Drake so. coming, right? Oh, he stops that. But yeah, we'll think about the Drake as well, right? Uh, that's why I thought he's bot side, because yeah, yeah, his objective is up. And he was bot when you died. Yeah. Just don't, try, don't, don't take damage from her. Uh, ping Drake, what about we ping Drake? You just ping the Drake so he's nose, and now you just keep focusing on the wave. You can't really do it alone, right? Yeah, you need to really. focus on your wave. Get vision and just get your wave as well. Or if you think you are weak right now, they could kill you 1v2, just don't touch the wave, let it come into you. I think I'll just let it come into me since That's Alistair fair. is not here and he's quite far. Yeah, exactly, it's fair. I we just want no, reasons, so right? Uh, if you yep. know, if, like for our actions. If you push, they might just pressure us because we're only two. But if you let them push, it's way safer. It's a good reason. And now that everybody's coming bot, right? When the next wave comes, just shove it. Shove it, shove it hard and then ping Drake. You have to shove this first. And you need okay. to ping as well so you're honest now. Right, we shove this, and then we just go Drake. Oh. Okay, just go Drake now. Just do it. But you really want to focus on those waves. If you just lose those waves for absolutely no reason, you're gonna fall behind like crazy. You don't. You want to drop as little waves as possible, as ADC. That makes sense. And you see, like there was no reason for you to rush there. You just got your wave, and then you went. And why was that fine? Well, mastery was top. You know that. Allies are Can outnumbering we... enemies too. Can we just dive this? Like what? what? Why is he allowed to stay here? Hello, Ali. We have no minions yet, so you know. And Master is bot, by the way. Oh, yeah. My Elise is coming, so we could turn. Yeah, just ping to go in. You have exhaust ready, right? And you don't want to engage, but. Oh, know, no, 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 no. Just wait for Alistair to do something. Oh, oh. Well. If I meet more the top, this is a 3v3. I just don't, don't fetch it. Just. Oh. oh, well, it's it's over. The play is over. That's it. It's fine. If they I just wanted to ping again. the ward. I didn't want to ping it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just focus on the wave again. Now we see E mid, right? Ezreal is half HP. Maybe Pingali started going here. Okay, we ping them go in, and the moment they go in, you go in. You can go on Ezra, you don't need to be so far back, right? We know we are stronger. Mm. Okay, didn't work out, oh well. Not really. Master should be here, yeah, oh. he is. Yeah, he is, he is. I just wanna get my cannon safely. Well, she did not want me to get that. Happens. <laughs> Right now we are we are unsure what to do. Okay, oh, no. go back, go back. I wanted to say like we are unsure. Uh, just go back. This is not fine, right? This you know this is not good. You don't want to stay here. Uh, I want to say like when you are unsure, like there's no information on the map, right? First of all, you need to like get that information, right? You are bot here. Master was here recently. At least re recalled, but Master could still be here. You don't know that, so it means yeah. we are kind of weak. We could be two v three. We don't want to fight. So the moment we try something, you just want to not join it, because you know it's bad. My only plan was to exhaust like E, so Alistar doesn't get killed for free. Uh, and yeah, to get out. But you don't the... You don't need to save your support. You need to learn. You, you wasted flash and exhaust, and those yeah, could cost much. you a next fight, right? And when allies make mistakes, right, you don't want to try to salvage a play. They make a mistake, fine. Like, you knew he was bot, you still knew he could be bot. So you don't join the whatever the is trying to do, right? Yeah, true. And this is how you you get from diamond to master, in my opinion. Like you just keep gathering for right now we know master top, way way top, uh, more the top, right? 
you know, this is real mid. So it means, look, only Lulu could be here. We could do things. We could push Lulu mid. Oh, Lulu is mid, right? yeah. We just keep gathering info, on, like, non-stop all the time. And we make a decision based on that. Uh, Yasuo died mid, <clears throat> and which means Lulu just comes bot right now. She's walking towards bot. Ezra will probably come bot. Which means you should really stay. You are 1v2, right? So okay. you should just leave. You just leave, leave, leave. You know, you go mid. Let's go mid, you ping mid, so Yasuo knows to go bot, right? It's super important. Oh, Try not to go through, not straight way, through, yeah. And you ping bot the red and Yasuo, so you know, he knows to go bot. Well, it looks like he wants to go mid. Then and I guess don't say shit, I'm don't just going myself. Me. Try not to face check. Well, it is worries, you get bot wave, that's fine. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Now be wary, a Huey might be here, right? Don't don't just go, no, 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 you might get caught, right? Look at this uh, brush above you, right? You could get caught. Right, you wanna wait? Now you oh, see, now good. you have info, right? It's way yeah. better now. When there's many insecurities, you can't do that. Just be careful, Master might be here too. He's probably going mid, so you get a wave. But after this, you don't know where Master is yet, so don't push bot yet all the way in the turret, because Master might just kill you. I think I'm just gonna stay here and see. They're probably doing drag, and you staying here, you're kind of dead. You can't really do this, so how about we just back off, because we are weak, we are 1v4 right now. And we just yeah. try to move mid. We just do whatever we can with the information we have, right? That's all we can do. And we move mid. I want, I want to do me like to get into this habit of just being mid lane all the time as ADC. Especially when there's nothing to do in the side lane right now. You can't really go anywhere side lane. So just wanna try to be mid and get those mid waves. Mid waves are yours in mid game. Now look at the top jungle. You know Mordi is alone there, right? So how about we try to go on Mordi here, right? He's alone. You know that. Just go all in. Go, go, go. If he it, you could even try to ult in. Right, you have exhaust, you win this. Go, go, go. Ult in. It's alone. Exhaust. So to slow him, there you go. And you should be able to win this too. Mm. And if you are unsure, just wait for bits, right? It's fine. Okay, you flashed. Okay. Uh, careful when chasing this. Ezra is coming from mid, right? If you think this is bad, pink teammates to back off. Think it's good, commit. I think it's still okay. Yeah, commit, yeah. commit, exactly. It's fine. Okay, good. Right, you just wanna. Don't, you don't want to be in that position where in between, right? If you always do something, you either back off completely or just go in all the way. And we board, for example, right? Alice want to kill him. You know he's alone because we knew everybody was on Drake. So you wanna go all the way on that play. You go, you go. No. Okay. Good. They back off, you have so much gold. You try to ping Elise off after she kills that. Because enemies might be coming. And you just got your items now. You're in a good spot. And even though just this... go mid here. Uh, I mean... Yeah, go mid. So in this game, like even though your ass was like 0 7, right? You didn't die. You're in a good spot. Have your, uh, your items, and the game looks fine, even though he's 0 7, right? Yeah. I just felt like, yeah, this side wave, like he kept on going mid. And, Let's just get this wave and see what happens after that. Right. Like it just doesn't feel in my benefit to the uh, you one shouldn't, uh, You shouldn't go mid further, right? There's probably four enemies here. You look, look around the map, what else you can do? Go top, for example. Go get bot wave, go top, anything, right? Try to do something. I guess we'll just go here. Uh, it's too far, go back mid. He's leaving, go back mid, right? You're mid wave. That's number one priority. Okay. Now just chill for a sec, we look at the map, analyze, look, top, for example, try to move top, move top, for example, right? And Pingalistar, maybe he's gonna come to you, 
But you can't really go mid when there's so many enemies mid. Nothing's gonna happen. So you just keep doing it up. You commit to this for now. Try to blue ward the tribush to the right, maybe. You probably win this. I'll just fill. You probably win this. Yeah. yeah I just should. get the wave now. Get the wave. It's fine. Yeah. But there's no reason to really stay mid there. We would have done nothing. And now everybody's coming top. You try to leave. Baron up. You don't want to die. Try to leave. Get out. And right now, right, I have a decision to get out. I'm going to also practice. I like, keep pinging, right? You ping it back off, right? You ping to, to want to go Grum, for example, right? Just want to let your teammates know what you want to do. And after you got the mid wave and you decide to go top, you just spam non stop, you are going top. And you spam assist on Alistar, so he hopefully comes with you. And right now, maybe you go back to mid wave, top wave, up to you. I think I'll stay top for the moment because the wave is close to me, so. Well, it's also, Shogaf, you know, if you look at Shogaf, he wants to go top. Oh, okay, well. So you could have went mid, right, to grab the wave because he was coming top. But no, how, how is, is like not really alone? Don't, don't recall, maybe. Oh, to, I want sorry. to say don't recall because allies are in a good position to do something, maybe, right? So you don't want to, right now, because you recall, look, allies are super forward and you are in yeah. base, not doing anything, right? And this is the small issue here. Like, we are off tempo and allies are doing stuff. Right now, you just want to click next to allies or anywhere to be on tempo. You want to do something, right? Do I not want to collect this <laughs> since Drake is spawning? Because without Morde, it just feels like yeah, they're not, like, never going to do Nash. Right now, if you hold Morde here, you are actually playing with teammates. You're on tempo. That's what I want I want to say, right? You just, because you are in base so far, like, off tempo without anyone, you, everybody was doing something else you want. You just want to do something and stay with Morde, sure, it's something. Ow. Well, that's not looking great, is it? Yeah, this is why, again, this is why I didn't really want you to recall. Because imagine we don't recall, we play with teammates, and then we see more the bot, and we are 5v4 all of a sudden top side, right? Mm -hmm. So when you see that, if you recall, you are the only one that's not somewhere, don't recall, right? Even though you have a thousand gold, it's not worth it. Losing all that tempo for buying an item that doesn't really help you with anything right now. Because you're not going to fight anyway. Right now, let's see. Hopefully, Alistar comes. Or... I mean, you could, you could, Alistar is coming, could kill this guy. I just don't try to get, try not to get ulted right away. Yeah. <clears throat> Teammates are doing things topside. You have exhaust, oh. right? You have exhaust, you have ulti. Try to dodge something with your ult, and you're fine. Yeah, Alistar should be here. Um. Hey, you win this, you win this, you win this. Good, good, good. Okay, look at the map, Israel top, Lulu mid, Master could be somewhere, Huey could be somewhere. Oh, shit. And before you hit this turret, you want information. Yeah, Huey is here, you can't stay anymore. So how about, maybe, you know, I want to say maybe we don't recall there, because suddenly we're kind of in a similar spot where you recall for a sword when there's stuff happening. Instead, we could have maybe stayed bot and got another wave. True. Bind there if way has ult. I think I and die. Now look, 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 look. It's, it's 4v3, right? More the dead, way bot. Go, ping to go in. Ping around and go in. Up. Almost. Oh, never mind. It's really mm -hmm. Well, almost. Not really. Okay, Hoi is here now. Oh. Mord is gonna be soon. Yeah, he's here already. I don't know, it's a bit too late to do anything like that. Unless they int, of course. But it's, it's kind of over at this point. Yep. Yeah, I inted. Yeah, so... 
I wanted to go in initially because we saw 4v3 right away, but but the moment, you know, after Alistar went in on Ezra, Alistar lead away under turret, we back off completely, you know it's a bad play now, Way is gonna be here, Mest is gonna be here, what is gonna be here, we back off, right? Initially it was good, but then we need to, to just back off. Yeah, true. And again, this probably would have never happened if, for example, I don't know, let's say we didn't recall bot, we stayed bot for a while, we got that wave, then allies took the mid fight, then you just get bot turret, it's a win, right? True, but I just feel like Huey's pressure in there is just too big. Since I don't know if he has ult or not. I just, yeah, don't want to die and give him 300 gold for free. I think we carry should lift us up. Um, yeah, but for example, if you stay bot brush and hidden and he uses all the abilities on the wave, you can just kill him, right? Fair point. Nope, we are not FFing this one. <clears throat> Never surrender. Okay, try to blue ward the brushes on lane so you don't get collapsed by anyone. Okay. Uh, someone is here, or was. Well, you have Elise here too. But you don't know where Master is, Yasuo is dead, you wanna be really careful. Like, if you're unsure, just back off. And go mid, for example. Or just recall if you have so much gold, although, I mean, there's no objectives up. <clears throat> yeah, this does not look very good, does it? Okay. So, uh, yeah, if, it does, if this doesn't look very good, why do we commit, right? I just thought I can, like, get way a bit faster and, yeah, just deal some DPS, but it doesn't really look like it. It's a good fight, right? No, 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 not really. No, oh, Lolo flashed horror. Well, if they die with this guy, you go. If they don't, you chill. Sure uh, you I think I can't. Defend. I can't. No. No. It's just if Not you really. if you can just go back, right? If you can't, you go back. And try to defend the Nexus. But that's important. And you need to go. I think it's just it's just over here. Yeah. It looks like it. That was close. I mean, yeah, nice try. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, that was fertile, but still, like, at least we we did something. Like, we the game was better. We we're still better than Israel, right? And if you're overall better than any like the enemy ADC, you're gonna do well. Okay, so let's recap oh. this game a bit. I'll look you up for the next one. You wanna just like look at the vote at specific times or something? If you made some notes or whoever. Uh, we could oh, do wait. it now or just play one more and then we do after a little bit. Right? Oh, yeah, and yeah. We yeah. talk about it uh, in queue. Sure. Let me just queue up then. Yeah. Right. So. Is is the way I like, I wonder if the way I'm thinking about the game is different than what you were doing so far. I wonder if it's different or not. Like, did you see any changes this game compared to your other games? Uh yeah. So, what so do you think basically, is very different. Like the way you're thinking about waves, it's very very different than the way I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it just feels like. It helps me get constant, like over 8, 8.5 CS a minute, which is really, really good. Yeah, so basically, again, mid game starts, right? There's a wave mid, you get it, then you have like 30 seconds to do something else. 30 seconds are over, you go back. And that's how you play this, it's a turn based game. That's how I see it. Mm. And, and in early game, right? We, you know, even in the late game, right? I'm constantly counting enemies, allies, right? I know we are on number, we go in. Uh, if you try to go in, doesn't work out. Okay, we look at the map again. Oh, there are now more enemies. We back off, right? And if you're unsure, stay back, gather info, and then make a decision and commit. Right? If you if you want to commit, go in. If you don't, you just back off completely. And yeah, fair point. again, if you I have some time moments where, for example, I'm like, 
Uh, it looks like uh, we have uh, like an out outnumbered fight in both lane, whatever. And then somehow allies kind of win in a way, but enemies are super low HP. So if I were there, sure, we would have won the fight. But in the first place, the fight was not really good because we were like 3v4. Right? And instead I took mm. mid wave, mid turret, and look, it's still a win. Right? So if you want to do something, go for it. And you learn from it. It does work out. And if not, you just do something else. Right? Yeah, fair point. <clears throat> And in the early game, we just want to see what our jungle is doing a lot. That's super important as well. And playing with our support a bit better, right? Yeah. And I think when you died bot first time, um, so Alistar got a nice thing in Jululu, right? And mm. you went in, and after all, ults and flashes out, right? First, you got exhausted, so that's a sign you don't want to ult in. And also, I think you got polymorph too, maybe, or something. Uh, polymorph, well, I think, but uh, it's like. I think there I got exhausted after I ulted, actually. But yeah, I can just have a look. Yeah, but. After. You know, what's important is that, you know, if Lulu just flashes out, right? Maybe we just switch to Ezreal. Instead, if Lulu, because mm. Lulu was still, still had a ton of HP. But it's fine, like, you'll just keep practicing, playing your support more and more. And for example, now, now we have the Lulu, wow. Which is a bit more boring. Yeah, pretty much. And I don't really like Aisa without engaged support, so I'm probably not gonna go. I yeah, just hover something else so you Lulu knows. You wanna go Lucian or whatever. Whatever, whatever you play. It's up to you, for yep. sure. I mean, I just feel like on hit Varus <laughs> seems very strong at this very moment. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Oh, yeah. On hit Varus, I like I like Lucian pretty much and Kaisa. Even though Kaisa, I know it's 48% win rate, but I just feel like I'm performing fine with her and the champ itself is not an issue. Yeah, Kaisa's pretty strong because of her kit, basically. <laughs> it's always going to be good. Because you can deal with some issues. <clears throat> can we do Lucian? Ilya? Maybe. That would be great. Nice. Yeah. And let's see what else they have as well. What they have in their matchup. Yeah, I think it's pretty standard. Let's see what they have. Jin and what? Karma? It'd probably be Karma or something. Ash. Okay. So I mean, let's analyze this laning phase already. Right. What do you what's your strongest things you can do to them? Like what's strong about Russian Melia for example? I mean, I just want to go all in level two and just get a huge advantage of that. Yeah, you just dash in with melee buffs, go crazy, right? Oh, and... not the, the int, int so again. Oh well. <clears throat> so like, whatever. I... Doesn't matter. Um, we just focus about a dodge angle. Like, no, don't dodge. Do. Don't dodge. Whatever. I don't recommend dodging. Is whatever. Um, focus on your lane, right? If. Soraka is mid and you just go 0 10, it legit doesn't matter if you're Soraka 0 10, because you win. I don't know, their team looks weird as well, like they don't have anything. <laughs> so, I mean, is this gonna be Karma top? Like tank Karma top and or mid. Kyle mid? Karma mid or top, probably a support, I would say. I mean, I don't really get much value of Hex Drinker here, so I don't think that yeah, is an damage. option. You have Milio for you, it's fine. I guess I'm just going full damage. Mm -hmm. I'm but just we... trying to like think beforehand in champ select, like how do I want to itemize yeah. before the game even starts. That's good. I don't know if that's a good or bad habit, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, but you don't want to think too much about it. We still want to think about what they can do to us, right? So let's say it's Jean Ash bot, right? What do you need yeah. to watch out for, for example? Asharo and GW. Uh, yeah, Asharo level 6, right? It's Karma, actually. 
Is, or is it Ash Mead? Oh. I don't even know. Uh, uh, I, I don't even have know, to, say. to be honest. Right. But you yeah. just want to look for those key abilities, right? For example, if Karma misses Mantrak you, for example. Oh, we could go in instantly. Or if Jin misses W, we could go in. If they have Ash Bot, for example, right? True. So you just want to take these mental notes in loading screen because the moment you see something being used, like Jin missing W or whatever, or using the Milio, like you just know instantly you can go in because you're stronger. They don't have anything to stop you with anymore. That's why I like taking these mental notes in loading screen. Mm -hmm. So you want to go for level 2, right? How do you play for level 2? What's your plan for level 2? For the first, like, three waves. How do you want to play it? I mean, I just want to do, like, get as many CS from first one, then get the first three melees, get level 2, all in them. Hopefully we get a sum, like a flash, or flash and ghost, preferably. And then, yeah, just arch off and back, and get, like, a cheater recall to get a long sword or so. I mean, about recalling, like, you don't always have to recall, if, especially if they are weak. You do something powerful level soon, they are weak, you don't want to recall. You want to keep staying in lane and pressure them, right? Instead, you set up vision and you keep playing. That might be better for you to try. Because, like, usually when I when I play Lucian Milio, it's just that the enemy jungler, okay, not in this case, because it's E, but I'm getting quite unlucky with like having something which does the level three gank. Well, that's why we ward, right? So, yeah, for example, what I do, I get the first wave. Make sure I don't push to push it too fast before the next wave arrives. I get the first three minions from the second wave. I try some level two. If it works out, doesn't work out, whatever. We keep we push the rest of the second wave, and then we set up vision, and then we play the third wave, and so on. Right. Or at least Ash mid. Yep. It looks like it. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's not even Hail of Blades Ash, so... Well, Sorak against Ash I haven't seen that ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, let's Platinum see... um, is, is a very interesting place okay. to be right now. Let's see how you do this. So remember, level 2 is the goal. And try not to use your Q right before level 2, because you need to have it for engage, right? Yep. So hit minions, you want to hit minions, right? Ow. I don't want to get hit too much if possible. Okay, and now you won't use your Q anymore until they engage, okay? Just keep hitting minions. And yeah, ping minions so he knows what you want to do. And the Jin doesn't have a first shot now. Very good, very good, there you go. Okay. No. I think hook fresh karma. Okay, go back, set up vision, no. I mean. Set up vision, go in reverse, set up vision. Uh, oh, nice top top. Sure, we could... Still do it if you want, if not, it's fine. Oh. Okay, I think the arm is Just get this wave. Uh, yeah. okay. I could use your biscuit as well, so you have more HP. Okay. Good, good. Get this wave, right? Then get the next wave. Master was top, Lee's bot side, Karma is here, uh, Jin dead, right? We just get the wave. The thing which I always struggled with is this, like, do do I get the next wave or not? Yeah, you, ha you have all the information, right? To just use everything on the wave, hit it, hit it, go, go, go. Right, you use your spares, the sooner, the sooner you push it, the better it is for you. You just go back. Right, you know you want to go back, I know. You made that plan, you know. A bit of an awkward gold to go back, but gold I don't really matter. want to stay here for Yeah, gold for doesn't this. matter. Oh, please don't, please don't. No, I'm not here. staying. You you could if your Lissy was coming, he wasn't, so nah. this is what it is. No, yeah. like you made the plan. Um uh, if anything you could have done better is being Melio to back off. Being so, Melio right. to back off, yeah. Because he I would have do that. definitely backed off, I think, if you did it. But yeah, don't worry about your goal value. Never worry about goal value. Like just worry about taking good recalls. Fair point. And here, and Karma, remember, Karma probably recalled, right? So Jin should yeah. be alone for a little bit. Yeah, but I don't want to really trade into this huge wave. I just want to yeah. poke with Q. Fair point. Right. Good. That's good. I'm just focus on farming. Uh, remember, Master took his top side. He goes bot. There's no camp, so he's probably going to look for something. Just going to back off. 
and you also have wards, right? So as soon as possible, use your control wards in the tri bush and just get vision if possible, right? Then I then you could put control after you get these minions. Mm -hmm. You should have dodged that to the left, whatever. You could melee shield. You don't get damaged, no stop. What I want to say is, like, don't be afraid to use your E to dodge the Karma Q, right? Because it's important. And right now, uh, if you look at the map, you don't know where E is, right? Uh, Miro doesn't have W yet, gotta remember that. Gonna have it in like 5 seconds, maybe. So you just wait for them to make a mistake, although you don't know where Master E is. So if you are unsure, you don't want to risk it, because Lee is top. Until you see Master, you just might not want to engage at all. Well, Unless they int, of course, yes. Good, good job. I mean... Just remember Master could be here. Yeah, if they int, for sure you go in. I want to say that. If they int, for sure you want to go in. You know your yeah. limits, right? Yeah, yeah. From that spot, uh, bit... even if he's there, if, even if Master is there, you're already, like, killing them. Uh, Master do is I top, good. Or do, I, do I make Jin lose everything? Kill, 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 kill her. There you go. Nice. Please let me hit. Oh, Oops. just get hit okay. wave. Yeah. Uh, right now, you know, this is a big wave. Maybe if you want yeah, to well. wait for the cannon to die, if you, you want. So you just get the wave. Oh. Now. Well, the idea was quite okay, I guess. Well. Okay. I suck. Do I just back, I guess? Yeah, sure. You have gold. Um, <clears throat> the scene is also recording, right? You push the wave. My voice is dying. <laughs> right. I talk too much today. So, the f the way I'm actually usually thinking is that if this plate doesn't actually change, what can I buy? Then it's just no no point in staying because I'm gonna I, get that plate anyways. I would say remove plate concept from your head completely and the amount of gold you have completely. It's just a bait. Prioritizing good recalls is more important than not having an item. It's way way more important. And also. Played gold got heavily nerfed. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It, like it used to be before like that, but I never had the chance to talk with someone who is actually <laughs> high low to to see like his opinion on it. Yeah, I'll never think for those plates. Okay, remember Karma recalled, so you could yeah. go on this guy. I'm just if waiting closer, for this, yes. and I'm just gonna <clears throat> let him know. But no, why are we no? Uh, I mean, Actually. you could push to get vision. How about that? Try that once, right? Push this next wave and get vision. Karma is okay. going to be here really soon anyway. You can't really do much. Just push this and get vision. Because otherwise, my surprise might happen, right? There we go. Well. Okay, okay. I'm in No, it's just fine. Okay, focus on your wave for now. There's no wave really though. No, not really. Okay, how about we go mid? Master is dead. Or kill Karma if she's ending. Can I? Okay, good job. No. I got the plush. Don't go too far. Yeah. And how about we ping Drake? Master died. Or we push this then ping Drake, right? We just try to see what our jungle wants to do as well. Do your kind of HP. Oh. Okay, we are getting the fuck out of here. Fuck, I ulti, by the way. Oh, but I can't actually ping it, unfortunate. Yep. He's gonna flash. Oh. There you go, you go. There you go, just back. get the wave, wave. Master could be here, you just get the wave. Just push it, and you're gonna go base, maybe. Because you're too low to stay anyway. Yep. And if he wants to do Drake? This is another thing which where I really struggle. Like this is such a bad position for me to actually help. And yeah, I don't know. Feels like I really want this, but I don't. Right. If you know you are wounded, you can do anything that HP. You get Q basic W from Junior Dead, eh? Don't. But it just feels bad, doesn't it? No, this is fine. I have to practice this, this is fine. You took a great recall, waves on their side is gonna push into you. He gets a free drake. And look, now we come back. 
Jin did the recall, Jin is kinda low HP, he didn't recall, he have an item. Right now you are so powerful, You right now you don't even have to uh, just go in lane and you just fight if they wanna. The yeah, wave. I think I'm just gonna all in him, like, just I just wanna... go, right? You're stronger if you see the possibility you go help your team, but it's kinda far, right? And right now let's push, he's weak, push, 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 don't freeze, he's weak. You wanna get an advantage, right? He has to recall. So you can get a blade here, maybe. Or if he stays, you can pressure him big time. And just use everything in the wave. Push, 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 yeah. He has to recall. He probably recalled already. If you do this, he loses the entire wave and you get the plate. Good. Oh, that's really it's unlucky. Fine. Just get It's fine. You, it's fine. If I had Ignite, she was that there. Right. Oh, what? Just get plates now, it's fine. Uh, try to ping uh, Milo toward the tribush above you, maybe. That would be helpful. Or ping it yourself. You hit a minion, you went under turret. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, Master man. could be bot, by the way. You need to think about that as well. Yep. That's why I want you to get vision first, right? A ward here. Save myself. your day. Oh, he's. I'll be a flash. You're fine. I don't think I think I need to flash this. You kill him actually. Oh. Almost. Oh, okay. He flashed absolutely nothing. Yeah, but I, I want to emphasize the fact that right now, uh, imagine you didn't go to ward. You would have got, got on collapse, right? But because you yeah. went to ward, you now went to master and he was isolated. Master was isolated, but was too far to help, right? But if you don't ward, yeah. master collapses on you. And you only you only kill master here because you had the initiative to ward. If you didn't, you would have been dead for sure. Yeah, true. Because it would have been three v two, and bot right. could have helped. Yeah. And you see how important it is to like apply the pressure. Like if you are so ahead, like freezing sounds cool, but why freeze when they have to recall and they are low, and you can just get plates now for free, right? This is the only time I would say get plates. I mean, just so strong. And here, do I let this come into me, yeah? I mean, I don't depends know where what the jungler do, is. Right? What do you want to do? Because... And I don't know where the jungler is, and I can't really save for okay, without Milio being here. If you don't know where the so... jungler is, right? We just want to ward first. And you're Lucian, you have E, you're kind of safe to ward. Right now, you have mastery, I mean, this scene you want to go. There we go. And now push, get oh, plates, oh. master mid, right? You get plates. And even dive. I just don't have vision. I could, you could ward I above you wanna, if you want. I don't want to take aggro to be honest. Just ward it. There you go. And now get plates. This is fine. I should have gone the plate and just Whatever, after the ward. Yeah. No, That's because because if you get plate and then ward later, it might be too late to ward. So whatever. It's plate. Plate gold is. Whoever gets it is not as important. If somebody got it, it's fine. Milia got it. He's gonna buy first item first. It's fine. <clears throat> and right now we just ask ourselves, do we have vision for Master? Well, Master is top. Doesn't even matter. So we continue pressuring. Do you don't want to take tower shots, for sure? No. Just want to hit the turret so your void grabs pop out, for example. Boom. Perfect, don't take damage. And use your E to dodge stuff. If you can. Oh shit. It's fine. Keep pushing. Oh, this she is just fine. You can go for this. Right? Yeah. You I don't want need to. to be afraid, yeah. You kinda let him go and you could have chunked him a little. Master still top, Ash mid, nobody's stopping you right now. Karma has to recall. So on a stream you has ult, you could even go in all the way. Just don't what? take it like that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but why did the, the tower actually? What is this guy doing? <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. He's out. I'll just. It's fine. Yeah. Flashing in is a possibility. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Now go Drake. After you kill her, I guess. She's too, too off to add. Just go Drake instantly. 
And yeah, I should, should get the wave. Yeah, I should get the wave. I didn't see this close. This is fine. Yeah, because you have a ward above you. I, uh, I need glasses, legit. Like, sometimes I just draw aggro for no reason. I, I just, I don't know. I really struggle with. Hmm. Nah. Hmm. Actually. They're gonna come, what, to kick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Maybe not. I interrupted the recall. I lost tempo. Well, that's bad. Ah, it's not the worst. I'm just recalling ping mid and herald. It's your objective now, right? Eh? Just herald, ping you wanna go mid as well. Okay, get your item. Huge. I oh, know oh, just. Wait, not this. Mm. This. Ever, ever, uh, have you ever thought about using item builds? So you don't spend as much time in base? Uh, uh, you can make really them cause... yourself, right? And it's. Personally, no, they I help see. me a lot. Because when I get the uh, base, I right click and then I just buy while I'm leaving. I just don't mm -hmm. waste any time. I see. And sometimes in my I, difference, right? I just know my first three items like by heart, usually, and yeah. After that, I just start to think like, what do I build? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you can go in here really because you don't uh, need well, for right. Yeah. Right. Uh, luckily, you know, you're fed and you have Soraka Mira, right? Yeah, but, um, I was just lucky that I'm fed, actually. I hope you see, like, we, if you rewind, for example, right? Uh, you were here with Milio, your Soraka and Lysir were still coming, and you saw nobody else on the enemy team on the map. So it could be basically a 2v4 or 2v5. Yeah. And it was, <laughs> right? Yeah. And luckily, you are fed and Soraka and Milio exist. But oh. this. Ah, do I get this? Go mid, go mid. You have a habit going mid. Robot lane. There's Herald up, you have things to do. Right? And teammates are doing things. If teammates are doing things like right now, you want to be here as soon as possible. It doesn't hurt for you to tank that one, mate. <laughs> yeah, true. There you go. Nice flash. Yeah, the Ash. Get this, go Herald. Boom. Right? There you go. Can we do this? For sure. For sure. But well, just go. Go do it. Listen is going to come. If you ping it, you stop and you start. Hello? With. If nope. you want whatever, it's fine. You know this is still fine. Oh. Huh. Or you just get midwave, then you do it, right? You adapt. Ali didn't want to do it, you get midwave, then you do it. And now go Herald. Or you want maybe kill Kale. Right? Oh, go go here. Go help Mastery. Uh, I mean, listen. Or if you're unsure, get back to midwave. Like, this is your decision right now. Do you think uh, it's worth dropping the wave for here? Probably not. There's no pain. Really. Or you go no, mid, no, no, right? no. I mean, I just timed his flash, and yeah, I think we are fine with that. I can go on to this. She seems like. She's dead. Go. Very free. Almost. It's too fast. Get the wave. Or, I mean, you're your champion better, but doesn't look like you can catch much. No, no, no. I can never kill there. But can we please do this? Uh, there's another midwave coming. You need to get that first, then you go, for sure. Right? Master is bot. Perfect. You know everything, right? Master bot, Jin bot, doesn't matter. You get this. You get the hair out for free now. And you just go hair out. Like, uh, allies will a lot of times not listen, and that's fine, right? But now that probably they saw Master bot, it's free. It's cool. And it's important that you didn't drop waves mid. That's super important. Mm. Right now, you have a decision. Midwave or you try to go top. Up to you. I think I'm going midwave. Midwave, yes. there you yeah, go. I, right. I feel like tier 1 mid is like the most important tower in the game, so yeah. Yeah, Just, I don't mid game, yeah. Abandon it. Mid game, yeah, it's super important. Late game, whatever. Mid game is super important, I agree. Okay, uh, everybody going mid. Go mid. I mean, you go mid because they're all going top, right? I don't have any mana at all. I just feel kind of trapped here. You have your E. It's fine. You get the midwave. Right. Jin is bot. And she's river. Master river. Kale top. You know this could be a 2v3 situation. But you just get the wave. Nobody's stopping you from getting the wave. Especially when you're so ahead. Okay. Remember Master might be close to you. What even was that? Ash flash? Okay. Uh, she did, well. whatever. Uh, yeah, there he is. 
and to say just make sure the back of cause master is alive yeah yeah, yeah. And also in this position, right? Uh, you could get the wave. Nobody's gonna stop you. Just let Karma push. You don't want to in initiate anything. Just get the wave. Right? If they wanna use anything on you, you just dash away. He can stop you. Have flash up as well. I mean, the thing is, in my mind was the Drake is spawning, so I'm gonna be a tiny bit late if I get the wave. But maybe it's worth. I mean, Soraka is dead anyway. So right now, if you recall, after got getting this wave. You are matching Soraka's tempo because if you recall sooner and you get to lane sooner in this situation, you still have to wait for that Soraka. It doesn't change anything. It just gives you a free wave. And now you just go back to mid lane. This in this recalling, maybe don't do Drake, right? Go get mid wave. I just wanted to leave like a blue orb in the vicinity and yeah, just get the okay. mid after. Look, okay, Master is top. You ping Drake, you push this, you go Drake. I know you just try to get poked too much and wait for allies and you get the midway first before going Drake. Mm -hmm. And don't get poked here. That's super important. Don't get poked. Wait for allies. When they engage, you could go. Master is below you, by the way. Doing... Master is below you. Oh, master, well, master. He's to the right of you, up above you. Look, look, look. Oh, he's dead. Mid wave, oh. mid wave, mid wave. Get mid wave. Okay. Okay, that's your problem. Ow! If Soraka is fine. There we go. Okay. There we go. Good. And we get Drake, we got a kill, well. and we didn't have to drop the mid wave, so we are still going for it. Our CS is like almost in 7.5. Good. We're getting waves, and we are ahead in kills, that's what we want. Emilio came back, he was AFK. Look, if teammates want to do something here, Ash is dead, it's a 4v4, this is good. 4v4s are great when you're ahead. There you Absolutely. go. Right, you get a turret, and now you look at the map, you analyze. Anything else we could do? Uh, oh shit. Or about we ping Baron and we go Baron. Go, go, go. Go Baron. Ping it and go. Right? Just keep going and hopefully they join you after they kill another one. Okay. Hopefully they'll join you, right? There's three enemies dead. Even if Master is here, you kill him, then you get away. He's bot, whatever. Free. There you go. Right? But I'm pretty sure that if you didn't ping Baron here, they would have stayed mid. Most I'm probably. Sure, right? And this is why um, being assertive and pinging is so important. It's a huge tendency of low low to just, yeah. They don't look on the map. We analyze, like, we got a kill mid after we noticed a 4v4. We got a kill. While we hit the turret, we watch the map, right? We analyze. We see Baron up and we think. I just want to get this wave and that's it. Sure. There's nothing I happening mean, uh, really. So why not? And this is safe because you know all the enemy positions. Just get this and the recall because you are just no mana yep. and you can do much. Sucks to be a hundred away from rapid fire, but it is what it Sell is. Doran, yeah. Sell Doran, Sell it. It's worth it. There we go. And again, mid. Yeah, mid is your default. And once you're oh. mid, you know, if there's no action mid, you just do go somewhere else. If there's no wave or anything. And Soraka is probably not gonna take minions from you, anyway. Soraka yeah. is too ahead, pink her back, back off a little. Oh, oh, or you just okay, go in okay. here, it's fine. Yeah, we are going. Listen is coming. Uh, fuck it, he just... Ash is top, by the way, it's fine. Give the karma. And you just try to get the red. Oh. The tower hates me, that's alright. A little bit. Okay, so Ash top, karma dead. Jin dead, we could keep pressuring ending the game here, right? I think we can end here. They'll have mastery and kale to stop you. And you are five. I don't think much can happen. Even if Ashley calls, this is fine. You have QSS. Hit the turret, hit the turret. Oh, we are going hard for it. Well, I guess we go hard. <laughs> this time it doesn't matter. But she has yeah. ulti, which is sucks. No, that's all right. Okay. There you go. And... Hmm. <laughs> we just get, try to have a habit of hitting what? Nexus here, hit the Nexus here, don't mess around, because it's LP. 
yeah, losing the game like this sucks. Just yeah, the right flick. Right? But so, any differences this game? Do you feel like you were in control, more powerful? Yeah, but it's it's much easier because everyone else performed. So it's either like you see, it's two games, total opposite poles, both of them. And this just first one just didn't feel in my control. And this one, even if I played like legit useless, even if I was completely useless, I would still win this game. So it just felt like, yeah, I'm not the one who actually decides the game. And these games are, are just, feel, just feels bad. I don't have um, very often games in which I'm the only deciding factor. And okay. I really love, like those games. Like because you got diamond, right? And you're playing platinum right now. Sure, it's just how it is for now. But once you get diamond and above, it will change, right? You play consistently, you perform consistently for those moments, right? And no matter how yeah, the no. game looks, you still made great decisions in this game, right? We just didn't go mid, we went barren. When maybe in the past you wouldn't never would have never done that. Because you didn't pink before or something, right? So we just try to improve for those future games, because you'll get there, right? You have really good games, you'll get there. It's fine. And even last thing. game, I feel like last game you actually did really, really good things, right? You didn't uh, die in non for no reason in lane. That's also super important. Like, even when you have a 0 12 yes on your team, first, there's a possibility of winning no matter what, because you're just so much better than everybody else in the game. And also, the fact that you still learn from those games. Because... I mean, to be completely honest with you, I tend to, to dodge Yasuo in, in solo queue. I have, really? uh, yes, I do have uh, a specific list of champions, which is completed by 12 champions. And if I get any of those, I just dodge. And the fact that I could make D4 by legit dodging whenever those champions were in my team, just, I don't know. But, I mean, I don't really recommend that. I, For example, last season... I mean, it was last season, though. Last season I dodged zero times and I managed to get challenger, right? Like you don't need to dodge at all. It doesn't really matter. You, I, I think dodging is just completely wrong unless, of course, if you, and even if you have this Konunu mid with ghost clans, I wouldn't dodge. They are those players are doing it to beg somebody to dodge for them, and most people do. But if you don't, like somebody else will. I like just don't dodge. You don't have to dodge ever. I never played last season a game with an Inter in my team because everybody else dodged. I never dodged. There's no reason to oh, dodge games not. in my opinion. And I have Yasuo on my team. I mean, so what? It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's, it's no big deal. Like, you don't need to dodge. For me, whenever, whenever I go with Yasuo, it's just like kind of free lose. I had like, let's say 15 games and I lost 13 games out of those 15 just because I had the Yasuo in my team. He was always mega bad. Okay, the other two games were legit. He was Arkadata, if you know who the guy is, or Tempest. Yeah. He was legit the guy who was EQ flashing around and doing flashy stuff, and he was 13 and 0. But the other 13 times, he was just 0 and 12. Sure. And... I mean, first of all, it's only like 13 times out of 15. Like, it just happens. And probably in yeah. those games, if you played better with the one anyway, I feel like. There's a lot of times when that happens, and you don't even realize it, right? So, I just feel like I should just... What, what like... about... Like, why don't you try not doing it and see what happens this season, right? Because, first of all, if you don't dodge, it saves you more time, saves you more LP. Because games you dodge, a lot of them you can actually win. Just the other day, I had that game where teammates were begging for a dodge, everyone was begging for a dodge. And guess what? We entered the game, we just won. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but okay, in... In Challenger, a lot of people are like, oh, damn diff, you know, and yeah. So, no, but remember, when you, have really Yasuo, like when you have Yasuo yeah. that goes 0 12, right? Imagine yeah. you enter that game and you go 12 0, your top laner goes 12 0. Suddenly, Yasuo doesn't matter. Yeah, true. And it's going to happen way more often than you think. Like, it's not a big deal. Because uh, just like your Yasuo 0 12, the enemies will be 0 12 too happens all the time and you have four random allies and five random enemies so chances are the feeder is in the enemy team not your team especially if you're the better player chances are the enemy adc will not perform at all right like for this season my like i tried to change my objective like to not be lp oriented i just wanted like in the games which i'm losing mm -hmm. i just want to be 
I just don't want to be the problem. I don't want to be the guy who costed us the win. So even though like we lost here, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. But I still kind of performed decent. You, you want to be I say I should say this like you want to be as light as a feather for your team, right? You don't want to make it any worse. That's what your objective. And this I mean, these like where you you stomp is just nothing to learn from. But yeah, this the four seven. I mean, there are things you can learn. For example, last game, you know, we did learn. We did make a good call, and you probably would have never made. So we did learn a lot from it, right? There are things you can learn, and. For example, you Absolutely. might have been more inclined to freeze the wave, but I feel like there's so much potential to just get those plates there, right? Yeah, I, I actually tend to do this a lot. Like, even in the... Let me see if I still do have the the 22 kills. Yeah, I do. So, if you see... Like, on... Like, after kills are happening, maybe here... I think it happens. Uh, I think you only shared your client, not the screen. I'm retarded, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me just do this. Share your screen. And I'm going to share the outplayed. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see. So, let's see what happens here. Like, I just want to show you, like, what's the habit. And okay, now so you that kill you... them. Okay. Get a double kill. Almost. And now is that Zek top? Yes. Yeah, like here, I think we are pushing. No, we, we stayed. I don't know what we are doing here. Uh, so yeah, the side I, I, can... I just felt like like I did this because like here I'm going to back and my HP does not matter and hers does matter because she's forced to stay to collect all of this. So just in this case, I'm looking at the map and where's the, where's the brand? <laughs> You're just so vulnerable. No, you have a ward, but you didn't place it, right? Yeah. You need to watch out for that a lot. Like getting dying from gangs, like you, you, it's so easy to prevent gangs with a ward. It's crazy, and people don't do it enough in my opinion. And now yeah, brand, I see brand. Oh, you, whatever happens, mechanical mistakes happen. Right now I just saw brand top, so you know it's go time. But when you're playing this, you probably didn't even see that. And right oh, yeah, now, right now we killed. <clears throat> you know, brand is top. It try to push, get place to something, uh, get a Drake. Or just push and recall, right? We just wanna... yeah, here we are pushing. Okay, <clears> this <throat> this I'm playing with my support, and he's always giving me um, free plates like mm -hmm. solo gold and stuff like that. But this is just because I off. So this is why we kind of stomp. Because yeah, hopefully now you know it, it's 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 always about me. This type of games. Okay, here we just. Do yeah, our recall thing. And you fought. This is turbo risky. I just felt like I had to commit for this Drake because, yeah, Nunu started it. Uh, plot twist. A, a champion like Nunu, mm -hmm. who deals here 1,200 damage, loses the Drake to Brand. Whatever happens, but... um, Nice one. I want to say okay. here with this Drake, you could have done something to get the Drake. Not go for the second plane and go Drake instantly, right? You could have done that. If you rewind a little. <clears throat> So you go back, 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 back here. You get this wave, and then you just go Drake, right? Or you actually did no that before this. Then sorry, uh, this is that like here. Okay, you get this wave. You see Lu Nunu coming. Mm -hmm. Um, and see, you see he's he's doing grump. Okay, sure. We we could recall here, or we could go Drake, right? And if you decide to stay for the plate, then suddenly, sure, you get more stuff yourself. But suddenly, Drake fight, when you think about the Drake fight, you didn't recall, you are low HP, no mana, and your Akali just from top lane. It's like, how is this ever a good Drake? How about we back off, right? You need to be assertive and recognize these situations, because right now you are, this is such a bad, bad Drake to take, right? I mean, yeah, but at the, at the end of the day, I have Nunu, so I just feel like... There is no way when we have 1,200 damage in one go, we can mess this up. Like, how? Yeah, but, but you could lose the fight and die. You, you could die. That's the problem, right? I know with flash and cleanse up, it just feels... I feel safe here. <clears throat> I mean, it still ends up being a double kill for me and we just lost the notion, whatever. Yeah, but... 
in a lot of games, you lose these fights. And luckily here you oh, weren't yeah. too low HP, right? Oh my god, my voice is actually dying. Whatever. Um, you weren't too low HP. You won the fight, but a lot of times you that this would be considered overstaying and greeting for a drag. Like one thing you could do to prevent these awkward situations is when you have to choose between a plate and a drake, go get drake instantly. It's gonna be much better for you in the long run. Oh, and... so, like this type of thing. Like when I'm with the pre-made, I'm always calling for these type of things. But like yeah, we here just sacked the way. Here you know your champion really well, you know what to do, right? But just remember that when your jungle is about both sides, there's a Drake up. Don't really try to go for those plates. Instead, we just try to get Drake, especially after we get kills. Because plates you can get later, right? But Drakes, mm -hmm. you should do them as soon as possible, because if you do that, they are free. But if you wait any longer, they might not be free anymore. And a lot of games are thrown that way. And here, yeah, you just know your champion's limits. You try to pressure them, this is good, right? No coming. Right now you play with your known, this is fine, right? This is good stuff. This is fine. But just be careful when just objectives up, because that's when most games are thrown. Oh, sniping coming. Boom. Boom, nice. You know the champion is good. No, uh, well like three seasons ago I was rank six world on Lucian. That's but then good. I wasn't washed up, I wasn't old. Mm -hmm. I was probably maybe your age, I guess. How old are you once again? 23. Uh, yeah, it. I was... Oh! Well, actually, this was green. That's good. Bye. Bye. Anyway, take the that's good. Yeah, this, this yeah. is good. Yeah, you just... When it comes to mechanics, you, you, you know what you're doing. Like, you have good mechanics, you know your champion. Just, you need to have a bit more discipline and confidence in your calls, right? And yeah, we, with uh, with decision making, I always struggled. Like, do I follow? Do I not follow on this? And like, I just like don't know, like, how do I actually decide if it's a good play so, or not? First, you need to recognize the situations where look, this there is a play here. Okay, I have two options. I I go with the play or I do something else. Right. So what if this time we try to go for the play, see what happens, and we learn, or that the other time we don't go for the play, we do the other thing, see what happens. But you need to commit. You don't want to be in between. I, I saw it happening to you a little bit. Like, it's kind of a weird play happening and you don't really commit. You're just kind of hitting them and kiting back in a way. It's like, what yeah, are I'm we hesitating. doing? hesitating. Right? A lot. A lot. I'm so actually hesitating. How about yeah. when you are unsure, think about something and do it all the way through and don't change your mind ever. If you think a fight yeah, is we, good, we go in, really go in and do it. And if it doesn't work out, you look at the replay and you see, okay, why was this bad? Well, probably because we knew I got the map, we would have seen that guy there or who knows what, or we didn't count enemies properly, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and once you see uh, that and you make those mistakes, in the future, you recognize the situations and you know, hey, we've been through this. This is bad. We don't go in here. And you just back off because you know it's bad, right? And point, yeah. A good example of this is when my when I'm kind of like behind ish whatever, and allies want to contest a Drake four v five or whatever, right? Instead, yeah. I'm not going ever to the Drake. I'm gonna push mid and I get the mid turret, and I do that. And suddenly, enemies, you know, they have to choose between Drake and turret, and it's awkward. They might split, and you just do so much, create so much pressure by just doing something else instead of taking an outnumbered fight, right? Because it's yeah. never good. So that's what you need to think about when making decisions. You need to count allies and enemies. And if it, if you have more, if you have more, you go in all the way every time. If you have less, you never go in. And of course, exceptions if they are super low HP or whatever, blah blah. We assume everybody's full HP and has everything up, right? And yeah. when there's an even fight, even numbers, if you're ahead, sure, you wanna take the even 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 fights. Because you probably just win because you're ahead, right? And but if it's even if it's even or first of just, all, let's... It just matters how the people are executing mechanically the uh, fight, isn't it? First, let's talk about if you're behind, right? If you're behind, it's the opposite of when you're ahead. You don't want to take those 5v5s because you probably lose, you're behind. And if it's even, right, your job as ADC is to not die for no reason, right? Your job as ADC is to just hit the first target and you don't want to get punished or hit by enemies. So in, the, in those cases, you need to focus on team fighting good, which is... 
what about <clears throat> the most powerful enemy abilities, right? Like Briar Ult, like Yone Ult, or whatever. You just need to keep those in mind. Oriana Ult. And see what you can do to counter. Lucian, you have E to dash away from it. Or you just flash away from it. You just need to have it in mind all the time. Or there's an assassin. You need to just know enemy's assassin position, right? Yeah. And in those fair 5v5 fights, you just need to do what you can do. And hopefully your allies do what they need to do as well, right? Yeah, pretty you much. can't win every 5v5, let's be honest. You oh, no, some, no, no, right? no. Obviously not. Yeah. But on some, like, now after, like, the match happened, I just feel like when I look back at the match, I'm just thinking, oh, I had an Elise, so if we don't win early, we are kind of fucked. Like, just E out, kind of outscales her. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what we had. Way into Yasuo. I mean, this is probably Yasuo favorite, because he can block most of Way stuff. I'm just thinking, like, who has better champions overall? I mean, obviously, our bot lane, I think it's better than theirs, champion-wise. Yeah, you have Engage. You kind of dominate them, probably. Yeah, you just give them I mean, Engage. I have no idea how Cho got into more the Kaiser yeah. works. The yeah, I don't have to worry up. about that. For sure, you don't have to worry about that, right? You just focus on your things and what you know. And in the early game, you don't need to worry about the laners. And in the late game fights, you need to just think about, oh, more the result. You need to dash the way ultimate and just kind of eat this game, not much else. And of course, mastery. I think they had mastery right there. Yeah. Like here, a lot of the times, like when I'm in situations like this, okay. I, I just go back without hitting the, the tower. Okay, here. Because I just feel like... Let's pause. Okay, let's talk about this situation, right? Yeah. Uh, if you look at the map, right, it's just... You know, you have no idea where the enemy jungler is, and you have a ward. So, this is another good rule, uh, I tell everyone, like, if you want to do anything under the enemy turret, you need to have vision for it, otherwise it's too risky. So here, instead of hitting turret, we could have just gotten a ward in the river, and then hit turret, right? Because if you don't, it's just super, super awkward, there's so much insecurity, you don't know what to do. And you didn't even, you didn't even get plate, so it didn't even matter, right? We just wasted time yeah. that we could have spent warding, right? And also... I mean, I tend to not ward in this situation because in my mind is like I do have my two long swords, and I just don't want to waste the time on that ward because the cooldown of the ward is so long. At the start is like three minutes level one, so now it's probably like still two forty five or so. I mean, I don't know the exact timer, but... Oh, look, yeah. you, you have a pain. second ward coming up really soon, if you look closely. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. now I, soon, I right? see. Like, you yeah, just want to use these game. wards whenever possible. And here, you, if, even if you ward scatter, for example, instead of hitting turret, if if master does scatter, now your Elise knows exactly what to do. She knows which could invade or whatever, right? It's all about helping I, teammates as well. I saw it upside now. Yeah. yeah, and right now I want to talk about what's happening in lane only, and that's, you know, if you're I mean, here to do to let them push, right, which is fine, but you don't want to, like, go back all the way like you are, you want to be, like, you kind of want to hug Alistar, because when he goes in, on Lulu in the brush, for example, you just want to be prepared to engage with him, right? I actually want to see that death, let's go bow here. Okay. Like, this is what I want to see, so like, here, what happened. Okay, here, I would just hit Lulu. I hit Lulu, you get Polymorph, okay. You hit Lulu. Oh, you're yeah, exhausted, exhausted, right? You can't really yeah. do that anymore. And here, we should exhaust Ezreal before he ults and everything. Right. Well, I don't know, because my, my cursor was on him, and I'm pretty sure I pressed exhaust so many times. Okay, here, my cursor is on Lulu. I click back. Yeah, here, my cursor was on Ez two uh, times, and I'm happens. pretty sure I pressed exhaust. Yeah, well, again, when it comes to mechanical stuff, oh well, right, happens, uh, it's just, you know, we'll keep this in mind for the future, right, uh, for example, if you're in a similar situation, we just try to focus a lot on the exhaust before Israel ults, right? No, I was, I was really yeah. surprised that my exhaust did actually not cast, because I'm, maybe, yeah. I just... It's fine, like... Cause I, I tap exhaust like three times. I don't know, like yeah. I just it happens. I don't know why you it You can misclick, cast, right? It's normal to misclick, right? But maybe you know maybe when you I misclick just... and do stuff like that, at least you know you remember this happened. And in the future we focus a little bit more on it, right? That's yeah. fine. 
that's all that matters. That like you can't improve if you don't make mistakes, right? And the second death, what happened? Oh yeah. Okay, so I here, uh, how about you rewind like thirty seconds to show you my yeah. thought process, right? So here you just wanna go next to teammates as soon as possible, right? You Am see... I too far? Should I go a bit forward? No, this is fine. This is fine. Or is fine. Right. I'm just looking. Okay, you so see three. Here enemies. I was assuming the situation. So yeah, so he's useless. He's out of the fight, but we still have Elise, which is very strong. But look, you see how he bought. You see this? It's four v three right now, right? So we just yeah. wanna go in here. I would have eat in and just right click towards them, and we are hitting minions here, right? Just wanna go in crazy. And the moment you see this is not really working anymore, right? You know, this is happening. Okay, okay, fine. We back off. We back off now. Because yeah, we were just came. first aid and uh, Huig is coming and now Mord is coming, right? So here you know it's bad. Instead of trying to frontline the Mord like that, how about, I don't know, instead we run or we just go hit the mastery and wait that Elise was focusing, right? Or anything yeah. better than frontlining a Mord in a 4v5, right? No. But I hope you see like how free the 4v3 was initially. Right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I do. This is the hard part, like assessing okay, so... and getting information non-stop. That's the hard part. And that the takes practice is, to do. I, I don't have ult here, so I just feel like I'm kind of like how it's counterintuitive to just like go in. Because I, mean, I just feel Alistar like I have to in. either... Yeah, I, I just have to wait here for either Alistar. Like, my way of thinking here is that my only way that we are taking this fight mm -hmm. is that Alistar hits WQ or Chogat hits a Q. Yeah. Or at least hits the Cocoon. Yeah, that's fine. Like, yeah. I can't frontline this. Yeah, for sure. And then this that's why fine. I'm taking the minions. If I had ult, I would WR Ezreal instantly and mm -hmm. just probably go for Lulu. Yeah, because it, that's a good thought process because we know I'll, I'll number them. But at this point, right now, we're okay. We, we back off. It's too much. Right? We know it's okay. Uh, here, so it's like I just do suck because I didn't look at the minimap. So this is like I should have uh, taken the Ezreal ult into face and just not misposition there. Like here, I'm, I'm just dodging the Ezreal ult no point at all here and i just i'm left in an no, awkward here position you're still I... fine because you're kind of far but you decide to go back in into a more like this you see oh oh my god yeah that, that, was, right? that was that right. was legit bronze yeah yeah that, yeah. that was a bronze but moment. The, this would have never happened if you rewind a little bit back because when we were gathering information right and chasing them we knew yes so dead more than dead but because we are closer to their base, more this is spawning sooner and it's here sooner. So we know that if we take a fight, we need to take it now. And if it doesn't work out, we need to back off. I mean, also more this is much more useful than Yasuo at this stage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you know. Oh uh, yeah. I hope you see basically how I gather information and how I apply it, right? And in this yeah. in this yeah. in this scenario, it's we go in instantly. And if we don't, we back off because we don't have time, right? If something happens instantly, it's good, but we can't spend too long. Well, I mean, the third dead, it was just... I'm here, it's just over one. Well, we tried. Sure, it's good to yeah. try to save the Nexus, for sure. <laughs> you never know. Absolutely. I mean, I exhausted him and he escaped, like, yeah, uh, under we... HP. Yeah, but whatever. Maybe you could have dodged his E with your E or something, but it doesn't matter as much. Here, it's over. Yeah, it was, it was over already. I just feel like, yeah, I'm just going to abuse Lucian. Get as much free LP as possible, but yeah. But I, I just wanted to say, even if when you have like a zero to VS, right? There are situations where enemies are not playing together, and you find those four v three fights, and it's your job to recognize it. And when you recognize those fights and you actually commit, you're gonna see really, really good results, right? That's what you need mm. to focus on when you have like a feeder in your team, because enemies keep making mistakes non-stop. That's just how it is. And like enemies can stop making mistakes. The mistakes your allies make, enemies make the same, right? It's yeah, pretty like much, that. or or even worse. Even actually. worse, exactly, right? Okay. Good. Uh, so, any other questions? Uh yeah. Uh so basically, I'm trying like to not have this habit of like mindless all the time when I'm near the the tower. Yeah. So. Like... I, I say this is the rule I created for myself, right? And that's what I call basically like the war timer in a way. And on bot lane, let's say you push the wave, you crash it. Okay. And then, okay, we look at the turret 
and we are like, okay, we want to hit this turret or pressure the under turret. But mm -hmm. for that to happen, we need to know a couple of things. First of all, do we know where the enemy jungle is? If we stop, sure, we can hit turret. Or, you know, if you see middle or mid as well, right? It's nobody that's gonna gank you, you can hit turret, no problem. And then second rule, if you don't know where the enemy jungle is, he's not top, you can't see them, do we have vision? If the answer is no, you need to set up vision. If you don't have vision, you never hit turret, it's wrong. If enemy jungle is there, you are dead every time. So you can never take that risk, even though if the jungle wasn't there, you could pressure them really, really hard. Because too many times it happens, Caitlyn players, Draven players, they just push non-stop and they just get ganked. <laughs> and then they say it's jungle diff, but all they have oh, to yeah. do is yeah, back off classic. and what, right? I mean, I am psychopath, but not like this. Uh, like you just, just remember, if you want to hit turret, make sure you have vision or information. If you don't, it's never correct to hit turret. It's always wrong because if the jungle is right in that brush next to your lane, you know, you're dead. And chances are they will be because you push without vision, of course. Right? So that's a really important rule to remember. Yeah, I think that's that's a really good rule. Uh, no, I mean, just, overall, I you, think I can I can definitely work on that. Cause... Yeah. I want to say that you will struggle at the beginning when implementing your rules, but after you do it non-stop over and over and again, and you just think about it actively, after a while, it's going to be a habit. You won't even have, you have to think about it, right? Because in my case, I, after I push the second wave, when I get level two, I push the second wave, automatically I go get, a, get some vision because the wave is kind of you know, on their side now, mm -hmm. right? Or if I want to keep pressuring, I need vision because I can do anything. And that's just a habit. It's just formed. And I don't think about it anymore. I think about other things, right? And it's going to happen yeah. to you. Like You're just going to, you're going to, after you get a wave and you, after you want to crash a wave, suddenly you're just going to look at the map and, oh, wait, we have no vision. Ah, I need to start a vision. It's going to be a really good habit. You're just going to see it. It's going to be super obvious to you after a while. That makes sense. But I yeah, just focus one uh, thing I... at a time, okay? Don't do uh, everything at once. I struggle a bit with the, like the map awareness and stuff, so that's why I play duo with the support. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing the mechanical stuff at which I'm... I'm good, and he's good at really like watching the map and stuff for mm -hmm. me. So whatever I lack, he compensates for it. And he's not really mechanically gifted by any means, but I compensate for it because yeah, I mean, we just they can play music. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that, we just yeah, we like, just abuse. When it comes to map awareness, right? Uh, again, the map is your best friend in league. It tells you how to play the game. And for example, as an ADC while you're farming those mid waves, right? You played mm -hmm. Lucian so many times, you don't really need to think about how you farm the mid wave. You just farm oh, no. it, mm -hmm. and in the meantime, you just look at the map and you assess where do I need to be, what do I need to do. You count enemies, you count allies. And that's mid game. In the early game, we push the wave, we watch the map. What do we need to do? Do we have vision? Blah, blah, blah. Those are the moments where you need to actually watch the map. You don't have to watch it constantly. It's really hard to watch it constantly, right? You can't really do that. Oh, but no, you need no, no. to find those moments where you're actually not doing anything because you just pushed the wave and that's when you actually look at the map and assess. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it see. needs to become a habit and at the beginning it's, it's going to be hard to get used to it. It is. It actually is. For me, it's like really, like how how should I say it? It's, it's tiring actually mm -hmm. to keep on looking at the map. But it just feels like it's so much easier when I play duo with this guy that he's just looking at the map for me. But then it's not really good that he's looking at the map for me because then I never form the habit, you know, I mean, to actually look at the map. You know, and it just sucks. If your objective is master, sure, that's fine. You're going to get master with a duo. It's perfect. But after that, you know, you play solo, then what? Right. That's the problem. And you don't you know, have to they are, be they are planning to, to bring it back, yeah? I think, From, so. like, I think they March mentioned something, or... yeah, I think so, but... Uh, uh, they mentioned something in a tweet long or something like that, which it would be insane. I, but, I, yeah. You just gotta remember, like, you don't wanna... You kinda wanna rely on yourself for the most part, and we're under sure, sure, you ask your duo for sure. But, you know, you also gotta remember, you don't need to be perfect, you don't have to have perfect map awareness, you're gonna miss some things, but just try to improve it little by little and just pay a bit more attention to gathering information from the map, right? 
making the decision. It just felt like this is what I was struggling the most with, and I can't seem to find the solution mm -hmm. on on the map awareness thing. So like, I I started like seeing patterns and what am I really bad at, and I started to be like, okay, I'm really bad at dodging skill shots. Okay, what if I don't focus myself on farming at all this game, and I just feel like I'm just gonna focus on just dodging stuff and trying to predict when that skill shot is coming, like the blitz queue or something mm -hmm. which is key, and I started dodging, you know? Yeah, like, it, it obviously took me a while to focus on one thing only and not to be, like, oriented on result-driven only. Mm -hmm. So it took me a while, but I obviously... You know, it helped. I right? became better in time. Yeah, and it exactly. obviously helped. And uh, I just saw myself improving, and I was like, oh, okay, that's that's so good. But on the map awareness, like, I can focus quite well for one or two games, and then at the third game, I just feel like I can't be bothered to actually look at the minimap. Yeah, I want to say something about this, and in my opinion, like, uh, knowing how to gather information from the map and make a decision is what makes a good player, uh, what differ differentiates a good player from a really good player. And the thing is that I know it's super hard to do it because there's so much, so much, so much information you can gather from the map. And you'd have to do it super, super fast and constantly, right? It, it's really tiring on your brain, for sure. But this yeah. is why I tend to simplify things. This is why I just reduce enemies to numbers and reduce all the enemies in teamfights, for example, to just a couple powerful abilities. And that, that's that's how I just don't get tired. I just simplify everything. In mid game, there's Drake, Baron, or Drake Herald, whatever. And then you have five enemies, five allies, and you're mid wave. That's it. Nothing else matters to me. I just count enemies. I count allies. I see where's objectives. And I make a decision from that. That's how I get the information. That's how I apply it. I don't need to care about anything else, because if you outnumber the enemies. That's all you need. You go in. It doesn't matter. You get hit by skill shots, whatever. You die, your allies win the win the fight anyway. It's good. Yeah. I see what you mean. So I mean I kept on watching it. your stream and, and stuff to like be have a bit of an insight on how you actually move around the map and stuff. And obviously I'm trying to get better because this is the actual goal. Mm -hmm. Uh on on like mechanical stuff and you know like champion things specific. Like cancelling animations and stuff. I mean, you saw it's pretty smooth on Lucian. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, it's, you know what you're doing. Yeah. This, this is completely fine. This is not mm -hmm. what's bothering. I tried to keep on like improving on some things, but I just felt like I'm a bit stuck in the past before, because in the past you could 1v9 legit on ADC. Yeah, we can't anymore, unfortunately. Can't. You can't anymore, and it just, I feel they like. Pick this is... and that's it. Like, they pick yes, so that's it. You can't hit anybody because there's a wind well or. When is immune? You can't, right? This yeah, is... yeah, yeah. It just feels like I don't know, like yeah. It's a team game. Gotta remember, and it's a team game no, with random no. allies. That's the hardest part about it. <laughs> it's the thing. True. Because if you're playing you play competitive, like... it's way easier. Oh yeah, true. So, to to improve, what I did was just like I got a bunch of friends who were like really high low, like mm -hmm. you know GM or GM and above. And I used to like queue up with them in flex and stuff, and yeah, to just learn things, like so they can teach me things. Yeah, that's the that And then well, right? after that, like I felt a a big difference, like mm. after I queued with them, because you obviously get at one point you get the GM player on your lane, and then it just feels like it's not that big of a difference, you know, mm -hmm. like when. We are all five on the same page and communication is there and yeah. So it's it's much, much of a different game, but it just feels much easier in flex, regardless of how good the enemy AD is or how good the enemy support is. Yeah, of course. And when you're unsure, and of yeah. uh, in flex as well, when you're unsure of something, you can just ask, right? But in solo queue you can't really do that. You have to Yeah. Yeah, just, this is the just run yourself and what you know about the game and the information you have. Right. This is why I emphasize to just commit, make a decision, commit. If it doesn't work out, you watch the vote. What the hell happened? Why did we do that? Right? But if you don't yeah. commit, you never learn, because you are just going to be in the, just going to be unsure of what to do. Right? Yeah, for me, it's, it's really hard to like not be scared. You know? Yeah, just like 
I, I just feel like it's it's on me most of the times, and if I die here, the game it's over. So this is how I think usually, and yeah, sometimes it just prevents me from actually doing the right thing. Some fine sometimes, I guess. No, but it's good that you know, right? It's good that you know what you're lacking in, and you know how to improve. On. That's super important. That's good. I mean, I'm I'm aware, as I said, but I just. I don't know how to fix it. That's why I wanted to ask you, like, if you have any tips on... Have you, like, ever been afraid to, like... If you if I go in here and if I die, it's just over? Well, this is where, like, information gathering comes into play. Because, again, if you know it's a 4v3, you don't have to be afraid ever. And if you know it's a 5v4, I mean a 4v5 or whatever, it's a really good fight. This is where you should never go in, right? So, mm -hmm. for me, it's like... If I'm scared to go in, I don't. I have team, I'm ADC, I don't have to go in all the way alone first. I wait for my teammates. I mean, if also I... our champion, like you, I guess you prefer to do front to back, like whenever. For sure. Yeah. But if I do play Kaisa and stuff like that, I'm kind of. I mean, it's like, different, yeah. When it comes to Kaisa, you know, if your allies dive the back line, sure, you can ult in. Why not? Go for it, right? Yeah. Makes sense. But maybe just try to think about who do I need to dive when I play Kaisa. Then maybe DC, then a middle laner, just pick a target. If your allies engage on that target, you for sure want to join. If they don't hit that target, they hit their support, you don't join. And you need to create these kind of rules for you to be, to just know when to make a decision or not. I see. Okay. Anything well, else? based on, on what you saw, if you think like there is potential for me to reach masters or not. Uh, you I mean, can for I know sure, it... right? Because mechanics, you're really good, and you're not making turbo terrible mistakes. They're just a bit inconsistent and a bit, you know, afraid to make your own plays and your own decisions. Oh yes, right? yes. On this, on this, I'm I'm totally aware of this. Yeah. So yeah. Just keep practicing. But you think it's going. it's like, is it like an easy fix, or do you think it's like hard to fix after so many years in league? No, it's, it's it's. I was in a similar situation because I was stuck in Diamond for four years, and after I actually learned how to play the game, I look at the game from this way. I simplify the game, and I just count. <laughs> like, it didn't take too long to just improve massively, because nobody else does this. Nobody else from Diamond does what what I told you today. Nobody counts like that. Nobody thinks about enemies like numbers and taking only good fights, right? Yeah. And I don't think it's too hard for you to just start implementing this and seeing improvements. And things like one by one. Yeah, just take things one by one and then, you know, medium starts again. Focus on that mid wave. You get your wave. You look at the map and let's see what the map tells me. And if I see a play and I want to commit, go for it. See what happens, right? And I mean, you simplified lane... it a lot, which is like really really good because i never knew how to approach this mm -hmm. but when you just said this with the numbers advantage that's actually so easy to think about it yeah, this I, way they don't even care about what champions they have who cares if they have way and i don't even know who his abilities no idea i just know he throws spells out and when i see two spells yep. on the ground it means ah, i can go now he's got nothing right yeah and also yeah, um, for example bot lane where there's situations where there's a wave and there's a drake and there's a, there's like a fight drake and there's a way for it to get right I saw you hesitate a lot in those situations, right? Or I think the second game, you wanted to do Drake and there was a wave under your turret and you kind of wanted mm -hmm. to screw the wave and go fight. Like in those situations, for example, I would say just get the wave. Your job is to get those waves, push the wave in before doing anything else and see what happens. I did it and more often than not, it's the correct play. And what you need is consistency to help you improve like this. You just need to be consistent. When there's a wave, you get the wave. And once you do that every time, most of the time is correct. And when it's not correct, that's when, okay, we review, let's see why it's not correct. And that's when you actually start implementing those exceptions to the rule, right? But you just need yeah, to I form think, that rule, first of all. I think that's the, the best way to do. I mean, even if you're unsure, you do it first one way. Yeah. And then based on the result, you see if it worked out well yeah. or not. You do it like and 50 it times. You just do it opposite. Yeah, you do it and like you 60 see, times. Works, and you, you have more success, I guess. Yeah. You do it 50 times. If it works 40, it means it's good in general. But when it doesn't, then we see why it's not. Right? That's what I need to think about. 
I mean, if it works 40 times, the other 10 times it just, like, jungler could have been puffing, like, you know, like, him to do a wrong play, but he still ended up well for them, even though he should have never been there. <laughs> like, if you remember, our situation with the Drake was pretty much like this, because Mastery should have been bot side since the the Drake was spawned. And instead, Mastery was topside, killing the 0-4 top laner. Yeah. So it was just like, what the fuck is he doing there? Yeah, like, you need, but you need to sense. recognize those situations and take action, right? You need to recognize, oh, he stopped, he do Drake instantly, right? Snap decision. Yeah, but 9 out of 10 times, when it's completely dark on the river, I'm just assuming, oh, he is human and he's doing Drake, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I can't actually walk in blind. No, of course not. And then, and then 30 seconds later, if we look at the VOD, we see, oh, he was topside, so we could have done the Drake ourselves, but we didn't know because we had no info. Oh yeah, that, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. But you know, once you see him top, top usually it's not really too late to do the Drake anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. that makes yeah. sense. And that's... but the thing is, if he doesn't show for long periods, I don't know if this happens like in high elo, because I don't have the eyes for this. Like, but like in lower brackets, it's just like sometimes the junglers are just like missing completely for like a minute or a minute and a half they just stay in fog of war and i don't know if it's because like supports don't know how to work properly or even i as adc don't know how to work properly or is it just because they are like perma full clearing and not doing anything i and mean so it it's could just, be, it i could just be feel anything. like it's a very different game you know because yeah it could be even the jungler just waiting in the brush for it to step up just if you are unsure, think they are in the closest brush to you. That's how I see it. Just assume they are here. No. Right? So always assume always they are assume, on your lane. Right? Because if you don't assume that and you do a play bot, you know, and they are actually there, that's bad, right? It's super I mean, bad. obviously, our dashes are very long cooldown. Like, Ezreal e is huge. Cooldown is like 28 seconds, level 1. Lucian is 22 seconds, level 1. So, yeah. It's... Yeah, you just, just gotta assume they're always there. If you're, if you're unsure of something, count them as being in the fight, right? If Jungle doesn't show, it means he's probably here. You don't want to do anything crazy. Right? I mean, obviously, a lot of the times, body language tells you. So, like, if the whole laning for phase, sure. they stayed yeah. still, mm -hmm. and they are right-clicking towards you, what can happen? And oh, well, Jungle for, is here. For example, your, the enemy support starts sweeping the bot brushes. Hmm, what could this mean, right? It's all yeah, 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 yeah. Right? It happens all the time. No. Yeah, we are getting lane ganked or something. Yep. So yeah, I'm I'm aware of many things. I just wanted to ask you, like, how do I deal with these mm -hmm. specific imperfections? And yeah, no, hopefully, like, hopefully it wasn't too painful for you to watch. No, it's and... honestly like you're playing solid, right? I see you as a master player, no problem. You just need to work a little bit more together and have more confidence. That's all you need. Yeah, with, with this. But I think, like, if I keep on like doing with this guy and stuff, we can both improve. Because as I said, he he compensates for my lack of map awareness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I compensate for his lack of mechanics. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Which is, is that, really, really that's good. That's one way to claim it works. Yeah. If it works, keep yeah. doing it, why not? Yeah. I think that like for me, this, this has worked in the past. Like I just see what I really am bad at. And I see someone who is very good at this. Mm -hmm. and he just compensates for it and what i'm really good i try to find someone who is really bad at this so i can compensate for that yeah that's one way to see it i usually just go solo that's what i've been doing but duo is a solid option why not right it works i mean just up until like probably high diamond obviously then after that i think like the supports are very much more competent Maybe. I mean, you know, the supports, you know, they matter a lot in early game, but when it, start, when it comes to mid game, for example, the supporter, the support matters less and less. So you don't even have to worry about them being competent or not. I tried boot camping on EU West, and it's just so different because there, when I got to like low emerald at minute six, when the grubs are spawning, or minute five, six, I don't know, five. when the timer is, yeah? Yeah. Five. Okay. My support just abandons me and he's oh, like, yeah. oh, fuck you, I'm going top. Yeah, that's normal. To the, to the grubs and <laughs> yeah, this like doesn't it. happen on EU and E. And I'm like, I'm in that situation, which I've never been before. And I'm like, 
uh, what do I do here? Hello? And to adapt a bit. And like yeah, you play yeah, Lucian, yeah. for example, right? You're fine. But I play Jinx, imagine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you, like you have fine. zero dashes. Yeah, you're fine with Lucian. You can outplay a dive. Way easier for you. And I guess they just do the three wave crash into classic uh, mid shove and, yeah, three, three man dive. <laughs> I guess it's just the classic, isn't Sometimes it? Sometimes when you support leaves you alone bot and then you support the still bot, the correct place to leave and just FK for a bit, it is what it is, right? You yeah, just stay in between tier 1, tier 2 and yeah, you hope you lose as less more. as possible. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. happens, right? You just gotta adapt True. to your support's place there all the time. True. True. Oh my god, two hours passed so fast, Jesus. <laughs> well, thanks for everything, to be honest. Yeah. It You're was welcome. really, really good. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you soon. In, in the ladder. I'll see. Yes. <laughs> I mean, in the ladder, I, I still have a lot to catch up. So, uh, yeah. You never know. You never know. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah you have potential. Oh, okay. you, you can do it. No problem. Like, you, you have the mechanics, which is holding a lot of people back most of the time. But if you have good mechanics, like getting knowledge is really doable. Right? Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, hopefully. We'll get to, yeah, to play against each other at maybe tournaments or something. Who knows? Yeah. Imagine like, it. yeah, it, it it would be great. And, you know, the, the student actually meeting the teacher and so on, so on. Yeah, that would be yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be nice. Okay. Well, if not, uh, I'll see you maybe in about a week or two time. And we'll see. Like, I'll yeah, book like, another session. If, and... if you yeah, That's actually, I had somebody else do this after like a week, he booked another session and we actually saw huge improvements and we talked about small imperfections as well. You could do that. It should help you a lot as well, yeah? I'm curious to see how, you, see. how you evolve in like two weeks, honestly. So two weeks, you think it's a good time to like two rebook weeks, a session? And... Yeah, because you're going to start implementing the things we talked about and your perception of the game is going to change a lot and your mentality is going to change a lot. You're not going to be as tilted as any anymore, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. I see. Well, thank you very much indeed That's... for pretty much everything. Okay. It's it's a lot. It was a lot to take in, so yeah. Yeah, just I'll don't definitely... worry. I'll upload Let this to YouTube know. and maybe you can rewatch if it helps you. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. 100%. Okay. And I'll try to understand why we made some of the calls and stuff, mm -hmm. which is really, really good. Okay, okay. once again, right. thanks for having me. Yeah, no worries. And hopefully I'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah, see you in two weeks, maybe. See ya. Absolutely. Have a good one. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Hey. Uh, good. It's, it's nice to see people with mechanics that struggle with macro and decision making because honestly, like, I could have climbed out of diamond in an year, not four, if I just knew this basic stuff, because it's not that complicated, let's be honest, everybody can count enemies and just make a decision, right? But of course, doing it constantly in your head, non-stop, while you're farming, while you're fighting, it's hard, I know. But with practice, you're just gonna get it eventually. Just don't give up, okay? Take care, thanks for watching.